Hi everyone, I've built an AI agent that can scrap Google search results for leads and we can store them into Google Sheets. I think for most of business owners and startup founders have tried to do co-outreach and sometimes we have to manually click into the website from Google search one by one to get the content information. What if we can now get all this done with an AI agent uh, built with no code with NNN? So let me show you an example. Um, this is um, the Google Sheets with the content information of the Google search result when we search for fitness centers in Hong Kong. So you can see the company name, company category, phone number, address, email, summary, logo, etc., and also the website. And then um, this one is the workflow. So let me share with you a live demo now. Okay, let's do a live demo now. This is our NAN workflow. Let's try to get the content information of the fitness centers in the US. So our search terms will be fitness center and the location will be country US. This is the Google Sheets we prepared for collecting all the lead content information. Let's click test workflow. Workflow executed successfully. Let's check our Google Sheet. Great. Um, everything like the company name, category, number, address, email, summary, websites are all collected. Um, as a result, uh, it's just set to 31. So the filtered results are just 21. So that's all right. That's our quick demo. Uh, let me show you how we can set it up one by one. Before we dive into each note in our NNN workflow, let's talk about uh, what we need to prepare first. We need to have the Gina AI uh, API and also DeepSeek AI. For Gina AI, as for um, scrapping the website, basically they have just uh, launched a new model called um, Reader LM version two. Um, it's a 1.5b uh, parameters language model that can convert um, HTML into JSON and Markdown. Um, so it handles up to uh, more than 512k tokens, around four, uh, 400,000 words, uh, combined in input and output length. Um, basically, I, this is the quick demonstration. For the left-hand side, it will be our webs, website, proxy.cc. And when we input our website after r.gina.ai, it will return the markdown format. Let me show you quickly. So... Um, let me copy this URL. Basically, this is our website. And then when we input our website here, it will be shown this. This will be the model format of our uh, of the content on our website. For the workflow, uh, we just have one main workflow. Um, there are mainly six steps. First of all, to define the search parameters, for example, um, the search terms like fitness center um, and the location, for example, the US market, etc. And we'll perform the Google search with uh, Google Custom Search API to get the results. And we'll scrap the URLs from the search results with Gina AI. And then we are going to process and analyze the content uh, with DeepSeek AI. And we'll prepare the output, uh, which is the clean and structured JSON data for uh, uh, further use. And we'll save the lead content information into the Google Sheets. Great, so let's dive into our NNN workflow now. Okay, so this is our NNN workflow. Uh, before we start, let's talk more about the credentials first. Um, first of all, Gina, um, we need to get the Gina API here. We choose header auth. Uh, authorization. We go to Gina AI. After you register, you will be able to access to API Hyphen Dashboard, and we go to uh, Manage API Key. Just copy the key here. You will have um, some free tokens for you to use, and then you can just paste the API keys here, and it will be done. For the DeepSeek uh, API, um, let me show you. It will be in other header auth here and put authorization as name and we can get the API here dipsix.com go to platform and then uh, after you register you'll be able to access uh, to this page we go to API keys create new API key you can copy the API key first 
But bear in mind, we need to add bearer, space, and then paste a key. Don't forget to add this. All right, and then the third credential, um, it will be the Google one. The Google search key. Um, we can get the key here. Developers.google.com custom search slash v1 slash introduction. You can get a key here. And for the um, name, we can just put key and paste the value and then it will be done. So let's dive into each node one by one now. For the first trigger, um, for demo purpose, we just choose when clicking test uh, workflow. This one, you can choose um, schedule trigger or any other trigger that you want. Um, and then for the second node, um, it will be an edit field node. Uh, we just rename it into category and then we choose menu mapping as the mode. The purpose for this node is for us to input the fields like search terms, um, site filter, type, um, language, location. So we put fitness center, we get an email type, language with English, location we choose um, US as a country. And then for the third note, it will be the code. So we can edit by choosing code here. So what's the purpose for this one? It's for trying to um, divide our search into uh, different batch size, like 10, 10, 10. So you can see the first one, um, the, this is the first um, website, 11 website, 21st website, and 31st website. Um, because we would like to make sure that um, it will not be stuck, we just want to process uh, little by little by little. Okay, and then we'll split out. Uh, we choose um, start indexes and no include no other fields. Let me um, open the execution history and show you uh, in more details. And then for loop over items, uh, is for us to go through uh, different batches. Um, and then we choose batch size as one. So we go through each batch uh, one by one. So 10, 10, 10. Um, so for the, this Google search, um, we use uh, get method. Uh, URL, we put um, custom search Google APIs.com uh, slash uh, custom search slash version one. And authentication, authentication, we choose uh, generic credential type and query auth for the generic auth type. And then for query auth, we choose school search key. And we need to, we need to enable send query parameters. For the spe specify query parameters, we choose using fields below. For Q, basically it's the search term. We can drag and drop here. CX for the value here. Um, start, we choose um, JSON, start index here. And then for name, we choose this one, language. This one, value, which is here. Basically, that's the settings for the Google search. It will perform the Google search with this node. And we will split out the result. So um, on the left hand side. Okay, we can see this item. We are going to um, split out the items here. So split out the kinds, uh, title, XGM title, link, display link, snippet, XGM snippet, uh, formatted URL. Um, exchange my format your page map etc this one we are going to split out this item and we are going to get website details uh, here we use uh, Gina AI again we use the method get the URL will be https colon slash slash r dot uh, Gina dot r dot AI slash um, this formatted URL and we're going to get this formatted URL from here. We just drag and drop this. For authentication, we can put, we can choose generic credential type um, and then header auth. Um, we choose a Gina API that we set up uh, at, at the beginning. And then on the right hand side, it will be the output. These are the scrapped results. Um, 
from Gina AI. And we are going to process um, the search uh, the scrapped result into JSON string. So we use post method, and we are going to use dipseek. So we put actually uh, we we put the dipseek uh, URL here. And then um, for the generic credential types for the authentication, header auth, deepseek API, and then send body. Um, body type JSON, body content type JSON, a specified body we use uh, using JSON. And let's take a look at the prompt here. So we need to stringify JSON dot stringify everything here. So you are a web scrapper and analyst. Try to format the following uh, information into the following format. Basically, this is a prompt. All right. You can just copy and paste um, this prompt and, and put it into your note. And on the right hand side, it will be the um, output here, the result. After we convert um, to the JSON string, we need to convert into JSON object. So you can just copy and run this JavaScript and just run once for all items. And then it will, and like for the content here, it will be split into this. All right. In a better format. So basically, this will be converted into a JSON object. And we set up two if uh, note here um, because we only want to save the records that are relevant and then that have emails and numbers, phone numbers. And after that, we will just save the records to Google Sheets so we can connect with your Google Sheets account Resource we put sheet within document operation we choose append row. A document just choose your own document and then your own sheets. So ours is uh, Comedy Scrapper and Fitness Center uh, have in US. And then we will map the column uh, manually. So we have company name, uh, category, number, address, email, summary, etc. Okay, let me see if I can share with you the mapping. Okay. This should be the one. Okay, so we can just um, drag and drop the company name, category, etc. So after that, we get the results here. If we want to um, have more uh, search results, we can just um, change this number. For example, we can change it to 100 or even more. All right, so basically that's the uh, tutorial for today. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions for this video in the comment section below or even email me at um, anylo at um, See you next time.